one and all in here, out there, to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Thank you so much. <laughs> We've got a lot of choices. Thank you for thank you for joining us here, but especially for joining us in here, because these people are warriors of the frost. They waited. Oh, no. Unbelievable. Ooh, yeah, like more combat. Yeah. The, the, the Night's Watch, right here. These people waited outside in sub-zero wind chills to see this show. God. Yeah, that's intense. God, I just I just wish it was a good show tonight. You know, I just. <laughs> so, what? And I'm being, I'm, I'm being told it's a great show. Okay, great, wonderful. That's nice, because they've waited so long. You know, when they were waiting, we went outside and gave uh, these people some hot chocolate or frozen yogurt. Yeah. Ooh. It was either hot chocolate or frozen yogurt, depending on how fast we got to you. <laughs> now, despite all the cold across, the nation's gripped with cold right now. But despite that, you know who's all hot and bothered? Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah. The president's intelligence chiefs publicly contradicted him Tuesday. So today at the White House, he was asked if he still believed in them. Do you still have confidence in Gina Haspel and Dan Coates to give you good advice? No, I disagree with certain things that they said. I think I'm right, but time will prove uh, that. Time will prove me right, probably. So. <laughs> so. So, you all disagree, but only over what the existential threats to America are. <laughs> Anybody's guess on those. <laughs> that really inspires confidence. It reminds me of Lincoln's stirring words at Gettysburg. Government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? I don't know. That's a good Lincoln. <laughs> Later this afternoon, Trump explained uh, that what the intelligence chief said to Congress wasn't actually what they said to Congress. Did you talk to your intelligence chiefs today about the displeasure you had with their testimony? I did, the and they uh, said that they were totally misquoted and they were totally, uh, it was taken out of context. So what I do is I'd suggest that you call them. Uh, they said it was fake news. Uh-huh. Sure, they said it was fake news. They said it was fake news and that the whole situation was very, very, and I quote, sad. <laughs> That's what they said. What do you mean they were misquoted? There were cameras. It was live. We all watched it. I think we're seeing a preview of Trump's next big denial. You know, I spoke with the two lovely Russian ladies in that video. And they said their pee pee was taken totally out of context. <laughs> and then, and then eventually, totally out of the mattress. Steam cleaned it. Mm -hmm. Totally didn't happen. Oh, man. Well, sir, to help you out, since you seem confused, we've provided the full context. ISIS will continue to be a threat uh, to the United States. We have won against ISIS. North Korea will seek to retain its WMD capabilities. We're well on our way to get denuclearization. We do not believe Iran is currently undertaking activities we judge necessary to produce a nuclear device. The world's leading state sponsor of terror will be on the cusp of acquiring the world's most dangerous weapons. We expect Russia will continue to wage its information war against democracies. I have uh, President Putin. Uh, he just said it's not Russia. I will say this. I don't see any reason why it would be. Now, after viewing all of that, some would say that Donald Trump is denying reality at a level that is clinically insane. Others would say that, too. <laughs> And Trump explained there's an easy way to avoid another government shutdown. Just give him everything he wants. If they don't give us a wall, it doesn't work. Without a wall, it doesn't work. If there's no wall, it doesn't work. If there's no wall, it doesn't work. If we don't put up a physical barrier, uh, you can forget it. So that's it. No wall, no government. And there is no wall, except for one small point. Uh, we are building a lot of wall, you know. 
We got, we're not, I'm not waiting for this committee. We're building the wall right now. The wall is going up right now. And we're building a lot of wall. We're building some brand new sections, large sections. The wall is getting built. It's getting built, and it's getting built very substantially. So, he's going to shut down the government unless he gets the wall we already have. What was he like as a dad? Eric, Don, get down here and finish your dinners, which I ate hours ago. <laughs> really, really fantastic. Chicken nuggets. <laughs> then Trump threatened to take away the parts of the wall that do exist. And by the way, if you go to Tijuana and you take down that wall, you will have so many people coming into our country that Nancy Pelosi will be begging for a wall. She'll be begging for a wall. She will say, Mr. President, please, please give us a wall. I'm not saying this as a Republican. I'm not saying it as, uh, as anything other than a fact stater. A fact stater? <laughs> Trump lies so much he can't even remember the word for not lying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, everybody. Who wants to play a game of fact state or dare? I dare you to fact state. Even though, even though he has not gotten his wall, Trump found plenty to be proud of. I accomplished practically everything else. Look, I accomplished the military. Yes. That's, we know that. That's well known. He accomplished the military. Who can wow. forget his banner? Military accomplished. Earlier this day, he was good. Wow. Earlier in the day, Trump tried a different wall strategy, tweeting, let's just call them walls from now on and stop playing political games. A wall is a wall. <laughs> yes, thank you. Let's stop playing these political games. Who was that jerk who kept insisting on not calling the wall the wall? If I have a steel wall, or you could call it a steel fence, barriers, fencing, or walls, or whatever you want to call it. Barriers, walls, call them what you want. Whatever you want to call it, it's okay with me. They can name it whatever they can name it, peaches. Tell you, no, we're gonna build a giant peach. <laughs> James is gonna pay for it. <laughs> build the peach, build the peach, build the peach, build the peach. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> wow, that should that should be his campaign slogan. There you go. Trump also announced more troops being sent to the southern border to stop the attempted invasion of illegals through large caravans into our country. We have stopped the previous caravans and we'll stop these also. With a wall, it will be so much easier and less expensive being built. <laughs> he can't. He can't get a wall. So he's sending in the army to cover up for his failures. It's our new motto, I made some oopsies. <laughs> so send in the troopsies. <laughs> but, and I, 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 I. We got a great show for you tonight. Ellen Page is here. But when we come back, my staff has some questions for the Super Bowl players.